Hello, my name is Jack, and welcome to day six, the final day of Mod Marathon. And yes, I am wearing a cow skin. It's for a punishment thing, ha ha ha. Check my latest QA if you are confused. So, yeah, Mod Marathon, this is a series where I'm uploading different mod showcase every single day this week to celebrate 20 million total upload views, which is absolutely mental. Thank you all so, so much for that. Um, and I actually checked my channel this morning, and we're actually on 20,500,000 now, which is just mind blowing. Um, so, once again, you know, thank you so, so much. So, anyway, it's Today's mod showcase, we're going to be taking a look at the Dense Oz mod. So what this mod does is it adds uh, dense versions of the existing Minecraft ores, which basically drop, um, you know, more items. So if we had a dense diamond ore, rather than dropping one diamond, it drops uh, about three, which is really, really awesome. So we're going to jump into this cave system so we can have a look at this bad boy because I've got a nice little setup down here. So as you can see, this is a regular coal. So if we mine this, we will get ourselves one piece of coal but right here we've got dense coal so if we mine this we'll get ourselves three pieces of coal and as you can see right now this is a really cool thing about the mod and um, but I'm actually on a uh, faithful um, and it actually creates a faithful texture so if I was to change into sfax you'll see that the mod automatically builds a texture um, for the dense or using your existing resource pack so it's kind of subtle in sfax I found that it works best in faithful but as you can see there's just sort of more lines around Around these individual little coal dots and then in doku craft you can see that it's kind of similar it just adds sort of um, you know darker lines and stuff but this feature is something which I think is really really cool because I know that in the past when I've installed things like mod packs and um, you know like tech it um, and you've been playing with like sfax or something then seeing like copper ore and stuff in the style of the default texture pack really stands out and it looks really really ugly so I think this is an awesome feature so I'm not going to show you every single ore but I will just demonstrate some of the main ones so this is obviously lapis lazuli now when you break lapis you actually get like quite a few pieces so I imagine you're gonna get a ton and um, when you break this dense stuff oh look at all that so there we go we got 25 minus 8 come on I can do this 25 minus 8 is I, I've not done maths in about five years don't judge me 17 yeah I 17 and I totally didn't use a calculator for that really simple arithmetic next we've got gold ore now gold obviously when you break it it drops as an ore so I'm kind of interested to see what's going to happen here Ah, so it just drops three ore. That's kind of interesting. So quickly, how this works is between one and ten dense ores will spawn every single chunk, and they will replace the existing ore. So overall, it means that your ore intake would increase by about five percent. So it's not too overpowered, which is something I like about this. So obviously, when you're strip mining and you come across, you know, um, dense diamond ore, then this is super duper handy. And then the final thing that I want to check is obviously right now I've got uh, efficiency on my pickaxe. But if I have Fortune 3 on my pickaxe, then we should be able to get an absolute ton of ore. So we've got some regular nether quartz right here. So let's uh, break these four pieces and see how much we get with Fortune 3. Um, okay, so we've got 24 pieces. And then if we break um, this dense nether ore, we should get an awful lot more. So here we go. How much are we going to get? We got 60 over a stack. We got 60 seven pieces of nether quartz which is absolutely awesome so once you've managed to get fortune three you're pretty good to go so there we go that is it for the dense oz mod very very simple but still really really cool not too overpowered which is something i really like um also the seeds that i have just randomly generated is really really cool um i spawned right over there behind me so um as you can see this place is awesome i also want to quickly apologize for my sort of fluctuating fps recently i'm not entirely sure why that is but i am going to be building my new computer real soon so my fps will be absolutely awesome after that i also want to say that i really enjoy Enjoyed doing mod marathon this week. I want to apologize that I've actually missed two days, but hopefully the punishments will make up for that. Um, and yeah, that is about it. Oh, and there's a fire burning right over to the left of me. That's kind of uh, scary. So yeah, so if you want to check out the mod for yourself, the link to download them are in the description. And while you're down in the description, please do leave a like on this video to show that you enjoyed mod marathon. And I've been listening to your guys' feedback, and you've all been asking me to do more mod showcases. So from now on, I shall be doing a mod showcase every two weeks. I would do it more often, but they're a bit of a pain to sort of film just because. Filming itself isn't too bad, but the process of actually finding mods that work and everything is kind of irritating. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. My name is Jack, and I shall see- Oh man, I look so disgusting as a cow. And I shall see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>